Hello fellow gamer, welcome. Dennis here today with 19 Gale, a game that was released in 2024 and looks very promising as a survival game. We're gonna discuss some gameplay as well tips and tricks and what are the best decisions to take when you start the game and making sure you are not doing the same mistakes like I did. Without too much chit chat, let's jump into it. Here you're gonna create your character as well the story behind your character, making as well your family tree, grandfather, grandmother and so on. After finishing all your family, all your customization, you're gonna choose the starting loadout difficulty and as well for the difficulty of the game that you will gonna start to play finishing all the preparation when you get starting you're gonna be spawning in this weird cave or whatever you wanna call it you will not be able to do too many things in this cave besides follow the path till you're gonna reach your fellow friend Puck that will gonna explain you why you are there and what's your role to survive and go on following his guidance. After finishing discussing with Puck, the only thing you will gonna be able to do in this area you will gonna need to interact with the realm card machine. Here you will gonna see that you have two cards in your inventory, the cards that Puck gave it to you. One of them it's the forest card that it's selecting which biome you will gonna go, like forest, desert and swamp and the second card it's the realm card where it will gonna decide the difficulty of the map where you're gonna go like your base and those type of things you're gonna put both of them and you're gonna start your opening portal on the other side of the portal pack it's greeting you telling you that you're gonna need to do a basic campfire you're gonna tell you how to cook you're gonna learn in this first map the basic needs of feeding yourself after finishing his tasks we're gonna give you two more realm cards and we're gonna ask you to go to his portal that we're gonna find it on the map you're gonna travel to that location you're gonna put inside the new card that he gave it to you one is the desert and one is the tutorial one the realm card that will gonna send you to the next area to continue your tutorial welcome to the desert area here same as in the forest area pack it's greeting you and it's giving you another task your task will gonna be to build a shelter make sure to build a bed as well and after building those two he'll gonna require from you to do all the tools that you're gonna need it and use it all of them are gonna be very easy to craft because they will gonna need only rocks sticks and plant fiber from here pack will gonna send you in the last area of your tutorial that will gonna be the swamp here you're gonna use the same two cards that Puck gave it to you to activate your portal and go. After meeting with Puck on the other side in the swamp zone, he will gonna start telling you the story, what has happened and why he is helping you, giving you a few more tasks like killing a few creatures, taking their resources starting to cook again a few meals that will gonna boost your stamina as well crafting a few items that you will need to equip and after that you will gonna be onward and as well showing you how you can do your items or whatever you want into dust I'm gonna explain what is dust, what you're doing with it and everything in just a minute. Congrats, in this moment you finished your tutorial. 
Pac as well came to tell you that you've done a great job and in the same time to ask you where you're gonna build your first base which biome the forest the desert or the swamp i've chosen the swamp was a totally random selection to be honest i really like the swamp and i'm gonna explain you why i've enjoyed it at the beginning after discovering a few more tricks that this game have was not necessarily so relevant which biome i would have chosen here we're gonna travel to the portal to open the realm to our new home here before entering here we're gonna be a little bit tricky some creature will start spawning trying to kill you amazing no make sure you kill all of them and after that proceed into the portal to go to the new home arriving in swamp area this one will gonna be your home for a while here after Pak will gonna greet you he will gonna still give you some advices he will gonna tell you what you will gonna need to do to advance in your campaign and to give you a hand first thing you're gonna need to do you're gonna need to do the estate chair that kyron or something like that yeah that will gonna act like a claiming block there you're gonna put it no mobs will gonna spawn and those type of things and after putting that structure you can say down don't build your base i know seems funny uh, not building your base in a survival game that is the first thing you're gonna do before starting exploring no here will gonna be your first trick to help you build your base here is the mistake that i've done and i can assume it that's why i'm telling you I've built my base to make sure I have a shelter and everything, where to come, where to bring my resources and everything before exploring. But here, instead of building your base, you need to go to take your first helper. This one, you're gonna find it where it's the essence trader. There, you're gonna meet with William, you're gonna be your first uh, support first person that will gonna be for you like a carry bag he'll gonna request from you to help him build those beds and the campfire for him to start being your support he'll gonna be the person that it's carrying all your heavy resources and he will not gonna be encumbered that's why that one was my mistake instead of using him uh, gathering many resources as possible to finish my base I struggled a little bit to bring just a couple of resources every time when I was encumbered to bring it to the base then now second thing that you want to know dust what is dust what we are using it for how we acquire and why we need it to put it in short term the dust is the resource that you can extract it from all the items all the resources that you gather and everything that uh, you do in the game in the same time dust it's required to repair your tools to repair your equipment to craft some of the materials and as well it's a currency that will gonna be requested from you from the trader to buy his stuff in general if you don't have dust you cannot buy simple as that now the first thing that i discovered was very efficient and very good was to harvest plant fiber the plant fiber in swamp was everywhere was very fast to collect only walking 
spamming every time e collecting everything in my way and extracting from the pliant fiber it was very easy after a period of time after playing a little bit with the trader i discovered even a faster way that will gonna make your life more easier even in crafting even in gathering all the resources you need and the answer was water bottle the water bottle when you buy you're gonna buy four pieces for 10 dust but if you're gonna extract those four glasses you're gonna receive 40 dust that means it's 30 dust profit every time you can see here i have only 245 dust in my inventory i'm buying all the water bottle that i can take from the trader and after that i'm extracting the dust that will gonna give me 965 dust a total of 3929 dust that's a game changer there you have the complete game changer because you can buy now your resources you need you can speed up a little bit the process if you need and you don't need necessarily to go gather or find those resources the last thing and make sure this one you will not gonna do the same mistake like myself make sure when you equip any item any weapon to your support make sure you right click on the item and select equip otherwise the character will not gonna equip that item by itself and most of the time you're gonna ask yourself same like i did why my character doesn't have a weapon or why my character is not putting his hat on and now you're gonna know because i didn't press equip okay that's all from me gamer if you enjoyed it press that like give me a comment and if you want to see more content smash that subscribe button make sure that if you have any suggestion or you want me to do a specific video for something that you want to know don't hesitate to write in the comment section and i will do my best to answer or to make a video for you until next time have fun